what's up my people it's good to have you guys back it's your boy says apare thank you for your subscriptions and all that you guys are really great i really appreciate you all um sharp sharp in today's edition let me teach you guys how to how to um make a raw food um a raw food of sugar stuff without taking much of our time so this is the off shoulder blouse this is the off shoulder blouse i already have the um off shoulder blouse here all you need to do is just measure around this place so i think after when i did this i have um 24 inches which is um 48 so you are going to keep this aside so this is the material i'm using i'm using door face you can use satin and or maybe even um organza material you can use whatever material you want to use so this is um this is one and a half yard i believe uh, most of us knows how to fold um 360 flay So this is it after folding into two then you fold it into four after folding into two then you fold it into four then fold into it fold it into it like this So now my 48, you know, um, we need um, 48 inches for the round of shoulder. So all you just need to do is just divide, do your normal way of um, dividing our full flay. So 48 divided by 2, I think is 24. So 24 divided by 2 is um, 12, I think. Then 12 divided by 2 is 6, if I am not mistaken. So this is it. So this is six. So seven here, seven here, seven here. So let's just give you that curve. Just like I usually do, you can try to leave it straight. So now what I have here now is for my round off shoulder. It's my round off shoulder measurement. So the next thing you do now is determine the length of the raw foot. So that is, if you want the length of the raw foot to be maybe 14 inches, sorry, the length seven inches, that means you're going to make this length 14 here. So by the time you fold into two to give you seven, you understand, so no matter no matter the length you desired around um with the raw food you are going to double it so after folding it will give you what you want but in this case i want to use um 19. i want to use 19. so you're going to measure the 19 round or let's say probably 18 just like I said if you have enough fabric and you want to make it bigger you can decide to make it 20 so by the time you fold into two it's going to give you it's going to give you 10 like this so probably this is 19 place your tape at the middle 19 you are going to do the same thing here so you just connect this way then you cut it off. It's very simple. It's not difficult at all. So now after when you might have done this, you need some settings with the flay. So you need to just notch this place. 
there is a notch here you notch this place too you notch everything together here you are going to do the same thing uh this down part too you notch everything together here make sure you notch everything so this part too you are going to notch everything then get the midpoint of this place just so that means you're just going to fold into two like this then you are going to notch you are going to notch. there are other ways in which you can do this raw food but i think this is this is one of the easiest way instead of going through uh, some unnecessary steps so you are going to notch here too so after that just open it up like this you open it up like this so all you need to do is just merge um all these um what is it called this notch this notching make them together so probably this one will go like this this one will go like this i hope uh you guys are seeing clearly just look at this straight one just you can just clip it together with this one you can use um what is it called you can decide to use your office pin just to tag it down like this see another notch here this one will come to this place you understand so see another notch here this one will come to this place another notch here another notch here so you are going to tag to this place that is the way you are going to do it round so after then you know definitely you have this um excess here yeah? so all you need to do is just do the rough food in between these two uh notches here yeah? you're just going to pleat it you're going to pleat it like that the same thing here after tagging all these notches together any excess you have at the middle you are going to pleat them within that is between those two uh tiny notches you are going to pleat them there so that's the way you're going to do it around. I'm coming. Let me show you how to look like after joining. After tagging down. So after when you might have done that. So this is this is what it comes out like. If you look at it, um I'm leaving up um, one uh, one notch here. That is going to be the zip allowance. All you need to do is just open it that is going to enter the zip allowance so you can see this you are still going to plate you're going to plate this place to this place and you tag this place down this one too you plate to this place then you tag down so this is it mind you if you like you can still do some manipulation here maybe you really want to do some pinches you understand you can see you can still do it if you want to do some pinches here you can still do it if you like you can decide to leave it that way depends on your choice you can just decide to maybe like like just twisting like this then you tack down you twist you tack down you twist like this you tack down just it will add more beauty to it and it will make it look more rough wood you understand just tagging, twisting, tagging, twisting, tagging like that. Then you go all the way around. So all you need to just do now is um open up your blouse or your dress, whatever you want to attach it to. Then you're going to start from inside. That's from this plain side. From this plain side, you're going to start from inside like this. Then you're going to sew all through. So at the end of everything. Is going to come out the other way around so let me do that so this is it our ruffle cape is ready and 
the puff shoulder look at this this is how beautiful it is so that's that it's not as difficult uh, as it seems so this is it if you look at it it's really 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 nice just like i said if you want you can still decide to do some twisting here you understand you do some twisting here you stitch you just tuck so that it will come out really nice really nice this is the back this is the back so it's as simple as that either on your dresser or on your blouse it's as simple as that thank you very much everybody for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe see you guys next time